行啊！Man, that poor bastard. He's never going to live that down. And in a world where the tiniest creatures can cause the big misunderstandings like that, it's time for us to really go after the true criminals in this story. The pesky tree rats who set all of that in motion. And the end of that cop's career. Next up, was this little acorn dropper. And while he was focused on something up in the trees, I sent an 80 grain tracer right through the temple. The front entry was pretty clean, but that exit, man, that was something else. Once it hit the ground though, it just emptied out. Definitely not a YouTube friendly scene. So we're gonna move on. That last shot was a little bit off, so I picked a spot on the duck sill here to make a minor correction to my zero. Uh, and there was a squirrel just sitting right above the target. He practically invited himself to the party. And thanks to the whisper quiet behemoth suppressor on the slushy two, it was a backyard banquet with no complaints from the neighbors. Noise-wise, this thing's actually pretty backyard friendly. I mean, listen, I'm not gonna plink all day with my nine mil, but three to four kill shots, no problem. I ran out of Mr. Hollow Point Slug, so I'm back to the Hades on this shot, but man, the 9mm SG2 just absolutely loves these things. As you'll see from this Popeye shot, that happens when you hit them just dead nuts. As we move around to the different angles, you can see just how much energy is being dumped into this squirrel. Take away that these things are like a blender on the inside, I think just the blunt trauma would be enough for a humane dispatch. But wait until you see the last two shots though. The blender effect, well, that wasn't just for the inside. You know, I'll give you a little sneak peek to those last few shots right now. Cause the uh, mild winter, man, it brought out more than just some early blooms, a chipper ventured out. And well, let's just say, uh, we put it back to uh, hibernation. Chipmunks can be a little nutty, even a bit cheeky at times, but remember, this is all in the name of nature's bounce, or lack thereof in my yard, where I'm forced to keep the numbers in check or pay the price, literally. This next one watered the fence a bit, but I guess that's what happens when you dome a tree rat with 113 foot pounds. Yuck, that fence is definitely gonna be pretty ripe if it uh, doesn't rain. If you're a data nut, this new FX chronograph, man, this thing checks all the boxes. I got it for some long range shooting at the farm where I need some help uh, dialing in some ammo or picking the right ammo for some uh, upcoming new guns that I'm going to be showcasing here soon. Sometimes a 9mm makes them look like that squirrel from the Ice Age. And other times it just removes the insides with a clean entry and exit. But the Hades belt is about the size of their eye. So this one went right through both and left nothing but a little wind in between. This angle right here is probably the perfect. Yep, you can see it go right through both. Man, what a devastating shot. Still pretty tame though compared to the damage on the chipmunks and just wait until the end to see what I mean. Let the sun sink good and 
This actually happens a lot. It's just their nerves kind of tightening up and their super sharp claws digging into that soft wood. This double tap was definitely acorn cop level shooting skill. Uh, I went from high forehead and then took it all the way down to the hip joint on the follow up. Uh, definitely need to work on that muzzle control. I do love the illumination on this Delta Striker. It's super simple with just that nice crisp dot uh, for low light situations like this. And that shot, eh, you know what, that one was a little bit high. But when you see bubble gum like that, it's nighty night. Next up, a double feature with Dumb and Dumber here with a pair of shots that turn dinner into a splash zone for the GoPros downrange. Man, watch these different angles. Just the energy dumps are crazy. You'll get your first glimpse of the second one running up the tree right there. Once that first one dropped, that second one went up and down real quick and then made a terrible decision. Those peanuts were just too good. And then once he settled in, I squeezed off another round. And this one just absolutely soaked the GoPro off to its right. Ah, that one left a little bubble gum for us as well. And holy moly, completely soaked the GoPro. If you watch closely, you can just see the pellet fall right there. It is right there. And down there with his buddy for a little forever dirt nap. All right, as promised, here is that nine mil versus chipmunk shot I've been teasing. Uh, it's a little summer flashback. I actually found this shot on a GoPro SD card that was sitting in my backpack, but better late than never. So their skulls are actually a lot thinner, resulting in something slightly more than a flesh wound. Oof. Now, that is about as humane as it gets. Graphic, sure, but that's reality. As you know what, this channel is always about education as I showcase a humane and safe alternative for pest control. It's definitely getting near that time for a new table for one as we inspect it a little bit, but for now, a little rinse will do the trick. If you enjoyed that clip, you should click this thumbnail to see the full video.